Hello, my name is Lee. I'm working for Pioneer Media. I'm going to take several minutes to explain the websites and server so that we can try to find opportunity to work together. Okay, so right now we have about 10 websites. We already helped the clients build and publish these websites, but right now we're looking for outsourced WordPress developers to help us maintain these websites, which means we're going to focus our time and attention to create the contents. And after the products and blogs materials are ready, we're going to send to you and ask you to upload to the WooCommerce and upload to the blog. And the average quantity for one month is about 100 products and blogs. So that is the first part of the work we are going to do is website contents uploading. And this is the list of the 10 websites we are working now. Um, but it doesn't mean that we are going to put the average contents each to each website, which means maybe uh, this week we are, we are very busy on the ChineseSources.org website, and we're probably going to send you more materials about this website. It doesn't mean that we are going to give you the same quantity contents to every one of them. It depends on the client's request. So and it, it, it also depends on our business goals how our business goes. So we are going to send you a worksheet. And this is an example to show you after the product or blogs are ready, we are going to let you know the category of the product or the category of the post you are going to upload it to. And then we are also going to give you the title, the article content, and the photos, cover photos, and videos. And sometimes we are going to give you the YouTube video links. Uh, but we ask you, uh, your staff, to leave your name um, after posting the product and the blog because we want to know who do it. So let me go to the back end to show you the dashboard of the website so that you, you, you are going to have an idea how you are going to work with us. So let me show you one example. This is the website sutalent.tech, the dashboard. So let me show you. The first is the product. Let me show you the product category. OK. For example, uh, the first one is the test product. And let me click Edit. So what we expect the developer to help us is we are going to give you the title. You are required to input the title, the contents, and the medias. And sometimes you need to add form. And at the latter part is the used SEO. So we are also going to give you the detailed information about this product and also about the SEO details. So let me show you uh, the worksheet of the SEO. So for the on-page optimization, we, we would like you to set up the keywords and input the optimizing title tag, the metal tag, the heading tag, anchor tag, image, video, broken links, and we expect the SEO audit report once a week. And we also want the sitemap analysis and implementation. So that's the part of the SEO. But for the SEO, we only need the on-page optimization. We don't need off-page. And we do not like to retain your service for social bookmarking or for keyword research. We have done the keyword research ourselves. So everything's ready. We don't need you to do it. So what we want you simply to do is to input fill in the blanks. For example, when you set up the product image, we want you to, to put 
the image tag. So that's the SEO part. Simply fill in the blanks. And we we also sometimes for the products we have prices to show on the front page, but sometimes we don't. So it depends on the situation. And this is the product short description. Uh, we we also give you the information on the worksheet so that you can know which part and how to fill in the blanks. So at the back end for when you upload the product, there are two parts. One is the product information, another is the Yoast SEO. But we don't need you to create the materials. We send you the ready materials. So simply fill in the blanks and upload and check the the front page. So another work we we want you to do is to publish the post. For example, this is the blog, uh, all the posts are listed here. When we have a new post, you need to click Add New. Uh, and then you can input the title. Uh, there is also SEO part. Please simply fill in the blanks, such as the keywords, the meta description, for example, for the SEO title, slug, meta, meta description. Um, and on my right hand side, you can see this is a category. You need to choose the right category, but we give you the information which category this blog belongs to. And we also prepare the featured image ready. So we send you the cover page. Uh, if this photo is used as the cover page, and sometimes the photos may be used in the content of the blog. So we are going to give you all the information. So we need somebody to help us post the blog and check the status. So that's the work we expect you to do. Well, as to the theme of all these websites, we use the Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder. So this is the builder. Let me show you uh, the plugs we are using right now. So let me click the plugs. Okay, you, you can see that we are using Beaver Builder plugin that is pro version. We paid two years, uh, but later, but this year now we do not need, we are, we are quite familiar with this theme already, so we don't need to continue to retain their, um, their service anymore. So, but this plugin is still active. It can work regularly, so there is no problem. But uh, there is one thing I have to remind you is that please do not deactivate this part. But in case you deactivate this plugin, you will have to input the license number. But don't worry, in case that you need the uh, licensing number, uh, we are able to give you later. But uh, this is just a warning that please don't deactivate this theme plugin, otherwise you cannot open it. Um, okay, so for all of the rest of plugins, we want we want the developer to keep on uh, updating. But for another paid plugin that is Gravity Form, we purchased for one year, but this year we do not maintain continue the renew renew their service so that we receive the uh, warning message to update, but we actually don't want to pay more for it. But anyway, we can still, the users who pay for the plugin before, but they can continue to use it, but they, so there is no problem. So that is another plugin, the paid plugin we, we, we used. For, for the developers who work for us, we don't, when we uh, purchase the translation plug, for example, so we are going to pay for it, but we ask you to help us install and try to adapt the plugin to the website. So let me show you to the front end of this website. For example, let me click 
to the front and when I try to edit the page I need to click Beaver Builder later don't worry I'm going to send you the Beaver Builders website so that you can visit their website and know some basic information about it but anyway there is it's not so difficult for example I want to change one information but for the simple information I don't need you I, I, I don't want to take your time to amend it if we can do it but sometimes if we we are very busy and we want we want you to help us to update the information we can send the information to you so this is ICP license number and I want to update the time to 2020 year copyright and this is the ICP number and then I click save so I click down and publish so this page is updated so I I put the ICP license number for this website. Okay, so that's my example for this website. So let me give you another example. So let me try to click to open another website. And that website is Chi Chinese sources. Let me show you. So let's go to the front end you can see that something wrong with this page on the home page on the home page search Chinese sources by category but unfortunately the product categories parent zero columns which means something wrong with the with the WooCommerce because we set up the categories using the plugs WooCommerce and then you are required to go back to the dashboard and then please go to the plugin, installed plugin. And then you can see some plugins need to, to be updated. And so when you access to the dashboard, uh, it is your work to update the plugins. But be careful because for some plugins, if you want to update it, it's it's a possible risk uh, for example this time you know last week i tried to upload woocommerce but unfortunately woocommerce uh, something went wrong so you can understand that we need somebody to reinstall the woocommerce plugin uh, to make the to to make the website running as normal but it doesn't mean that I cannot know I, I don't know I can't install WooCommerce by myself but my work is too much overloaded so we need some assistant and website developer to help us maintain the website so that's the work we want to subject to somebody hopefully you understand my explanations so let me move on to the next part so this is a SEO worksheet example when we ask somebody to help us update the SEO just as my previous explanations we give you the blog product post uh, to let you know its categories title keywords title tag matter anchor image tag and video tag so that's the part for for somebody to fill in the blanks and maintain and keep the pages perfect okay so for the plugs updating and occasional new functions we want the existing plugins uh, keep on updated weekly and sometimes we also need the developer to help us uh, install the chat tool and set up CDN because some websites are targeting to Chinese market so for the Chinese audiences we need to set up the CDN uh, so that in the mainland China and the audiences the visitors can can open the website quickly and sometimes we also need to install translations plug plugins 
uh, don't worry for the third party plugins paid if 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 it is paid we it is on our shoulder we only retain your service and pay your service uh, to install the plugin and make some adaptations to the themes as as well as others so uh, the quantity you are going to help us is about eight to ten websites and the last work is server maintenance server maintenance we want once a month and usually the maintenance work is website backups uh, help us check raid array and verify storage utilization uh, as you know right now we use emotion hosting uh, that server is located in uh, america and we also uh, need you to help us review the server resources usage update the control panel and update software applications and verify network utilization and operating system and we also sometimes uh, need physically clean server hardware and check for hardware errors and overall security so that's the maintenance for the server we, we expect you to do um, we also sometimes need occasional websites migration but not so many and for the uh, CDM um, setup, we also need CDM setup. We also need you to help us to to check the SSL certificates because it requires the certificates match the CDM. So hopefully that we can start to work from April first. And if you have any questions please do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you and have a nice day.